Hey, is this thing on? Uh, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm gonna flip the viewfinder. Maybe that will help in me actually just like looking at the camera and not my reflection. Reflection? Whatever it is, I don't even know. Um, anyway guys, welcome back to another installment on my record collection update. This is, I think, the sixth one, which is in actually incredible that it's continued and I've like continued to like upload these things. Anyway, I'm still messing around with the lighting, so I'm not quite 100% sure if I'm like satisfied with it yet. So just like keep that in mind that I'm still working on that as well. I think it's an improvement from last video, but it's still going good. Anyway, so the gist of this video is if you haven't watched them already, I talk through all my new records that are part of my record collection. Uh, so I can't be bothered actually counting how many there are because there are quite a few. And this is records handed down to me by my uncle. I went through his collection and some of them are ones I want to get into, some I have got into and some that I'm just like incredibly happy that I have part of my collection, you know what I mean? So let's just get straight into it, shall we? So if you guys recall, I think I think two record collection videos ago, my dad was telling me about this band and he was like, oh, you gotta get into them, blah, blah, blah. I think I have two of their records or one, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, this is a third one of theirs. And oh, I need the viewfinder to make sure it's focused. Fuck. Okay, so the band is The Carpenters and this is the record, Made in America. Once again, I trust my dad's opinion, so I know I'm gonna love it, you know what I mean? So what I've heard so far is great and like, I'm excited to listen to more. Also, all of these are just like standard black pressing because they're like from back in the day, you know? Okay, this next one is hilarious, but right up my alley, especially if you watched my last video I just uploaded. This vinyl is called Carols for Christmas, which is just like hilarious because like that's me, am I right? You've got songs like um, Deck the Halls, Hark the Hair, Old Angel Sing. Yeah, and it's a choir, which is going to be like really nice to play during Christmas time because obviously you know I have like three Christmas albums on vinyl and now this is like a fourth one and it's a choir scene. So that's like very cute Home Alone vibes, you know? This one is hilarious and I actually was surprised about how many songs I already know of this artist. Um, this next vinyl is Tom Jones's Greatest Hits. Which is just like hilarious. Like, it's not unusual. I'll never fall in love again. What's new, pussy cat? Like, these are some fucking hilarious classic songs. Like, how funny. And the best thing about getting vinyls like this, of like artists from the past or whatever, is their greatest hits because it's like all the best stuff in one vinyl. You don't need to like collect heaps to like get all the songs you know. You know what I mean? So, very exciting. Okay, these next two vinyls are volume one and volume two, I'm pretty sure. And they're of a band that I know of, but I'm excited to listen to these and be like, mmm, capture the essence. It is the Bee Gees, best of volume one and volume two. Is that just not the fucking funniest thing you've ever seen in your life? Like, oh my god, look at them so young here, right? Incredibly young. And then they're just like old and like hairy men in this one. Love it. I love listening to new music on vinyl as well. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe because I'm usually like studying and so it's just like playing in the background and it's usually like old music, but it puts me in a good mood. These next two vinyls are from the same art band artist again. And some iconic, you guys are gonna be like, fuck yeah. And I'm excited because it means I actually get to listen to them more. Because I don't know much about this band. My friend Mac, I know, is a huge fan of them. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Harry Styles is like worships them. Anyway, it's Fleetwood Mac, which is just so funny. So this one is the collection, 1968 to 1971. Special price two records set. Oh, so there's two records in this one, and it has what's seven times four? Fourteen. Twenty-eight. It has like twenty-eight songs in this. So that's pretty exciting, especially for me that like wants to get into them. You know what I mean? Yeah, so that's that one. And then I've got this one. Okay, moving on. So we're like halfway through, guys. Actually, are we? We're just a little bit over halfway, which is so exciting. This next one, I already own two copies of it, which is so fucking funny, but they're like different variances, variations of this one album. So, Elvis Presley, you guys, you know, iconic legend, the king, some might call him, <laughs> um, has Christmas albums. As you, if you've watched my videos, you know that I actually bought one on Amazon as like the huge impulse decision because Amazon has this thing where you just like 
click and it's like like you bought it, you don't even put any of your details in, and I was like, oh god. So I bought that as a huge impulse, and then, and then my auntie had another Elvis Christmas album, which if you watched like in like last Rogue Collection update or something like that, it's in there. And now my uncle has this. What the fuck? Do you read that? Do you read that? Elvis's Christmas album. Elvis sings Christmas songs. Blue Christmas, I'll Be Home for Christmas, Oh Little Town of Bethlehem, Santa Claus is coming down silent night. Oh my god. But obviously this picture doesn't, it's like from one of these movies or something, right? Because this does not scream Christmas to me at all. He must have just got so much money back in the day. I feel like they just really saturated and milked the fuck out of him. Um, anyway, so I have three Elvis Christmas albums, which is like really sad. And with those two Christmas albums from this collection, I have two, two, five Christmas albums, which is fucked. Last Christmas I had two and I have three more. How cool is that? <laughs> Sick. So this next one I found, I was going through my uncle's collection and I saw the back of it. And the only song I saw was called Hey Joe. And I was like, Ugh! I know that song. It has to be the only one artist that has that song title. Jimmy. Fucking Hendrix. This is my first Jimi Hendrix album. How fucking sick. It's called Soundtrack Recordings from the film Jimi Hendrix. Fucking iconic songs. So I'm so excited to listen to that. And these are all kept in very good conditions. Like, look at the... Like, this is in its, like, actual sleeve thing, like, oh, I'm so excited to listen to this. Like, legit, after I film this video and I'm importing this footage, I'm going to be playing this fucking album so I have to listen to it. Because I got into him earlier this year. Like, actually, you know, like, when you know songs, but then you know more than what you grew up listening to? That's me with Jimi Hendrix then, like, now. And now I'm going through... <laughs> I told my brother this the other week, I'm going through my Led Zeppelin play phase, which is just great. And like, I, I'm like, oh, like I'm loving it. Oh, it's such good shit, you know? Um, and last year, I went through my Rolling Stones phase. I don't know why I call it a phase. It's more like certifying myself as like a fan. How do you define a fan? Someone that just enjoys listening to music. You know how like you know like their main singles or like their greatest hits this is like when i go through phases it's more like i'm learning all their different music but i'm not like letting go it's like i'm just getting more music under my belt does that make sense anyway so i have a rolling stones album which is so exciting emotional rescue i didn't even know what the fuck it was when i was looking at that i have to like read the top here because it says like rolling stones oh, i don't want to take it out because i haven't bothered but i love how that's yellow because it's sticking on with their brand, do you know what I mean? So in this video alone, I have got my first Jimi Hendrix album on vinyl and my first Rolling Stones album on vinyl, which is so exciting. So these next ones all have a similar theme, um, and they're so exciting. Oh, okay. This next one, I was so, like, confused. I saw it, and it's, it hasn't got, like, its sleeve thing that it comes in, you know? So it's just, like, a vinyl in a plastic sleeve. And all I saw when I was going through my uncle's collection was this apple and I was like oh god is it a Beatles album what is it what is it what is it and I look closely and it's John Lennon Walls and Bridges I don't know I just find that's like it's such a random like album of John Lennon to have and he also had um the John Lennon Yoko Ono album I already have um he had that and I was like hey kitty I could have saved myself like 30 bucks but anyway, now I have this and I have to be like, I don't, I don't even know how to hold it properly. I'm just like holding it by this because this is what it came in. So I'm just like, oh god. <laughs> so, and I have Imagine. So I have like three John Lennon albums, I'm going to say. Which is so exciting. And I love how I knew it just because of the apple in the middle of it. I was like, I know that. I find it really funny. So when I was going through the collection, the only Beatles album he had was the one that I haven't got yet. Well, like, I haven't got them all, but like... You know what I mean? So I didn't double up and I was just like, yes, yes, because this one is like, <sighs> gotta use the word iconic again, which kills me, but it is, like it is. He had the Let It Be album, guys, just casually in his collection, and I could have it. So that's very overwhelming to see. I was just like, <clears throat> and I just took it out and I was like, fuck 
yes i get this on vinyl eq so i now have like abbey road sergeant peppers and just like eh. so i was very overwhelmed with it oh, across the universe oh, i can't wait to hear that on vinyl like talk about iconic and i just watched james corden's couple karaoke with this legend right here and he talked about this song and he talked about everything and it was just such an overwhelming experience so if you're a Beatles fan or if you're not a Beatles fan make sure you like search that because it's just it's historic you know now this last thing will not stop me from collecting Beatles records but it's something very unique and I was like when I saw it I was like why have I never like seen or heard about this but I guess it's kind of like the Elvis Presley thing like when they were at their hype all these different kinds of material was being put out there with their name on it and like their music and all this like collector's items and I presume this is like a collector's item because it's fucked it looks like this so it's Beatles from Liverpool like I don't know it's look meant to look like it's in like a crate kind of box thing and you open it right I feel like I'm opening like a pizza box you open it right and if you could just like see all these words up here these are all the songs. I'm like, that's straight up like their whole discovery, discography, whatever that word is. That is like all their songs. But it's not like albums. This is what it looks like, right? So there's eight things. So let me just like open them. I was super confused. I feel like this is a collector's item, but the songs, there's eight vinyls in here, right? But the songs on them aren't all off like the one album. They're spread around. You know what I mean? So I'll just show you them all right now. <laughs> Little show and tell. I love primary school. This is the first one. And so it's just like a random picture of them. And it's got songs. Love me do. P.S. I love you. I saw her saying there. Oh my god. And it has history of them. I never read the fine details about the back. That's so amazing. It won't be long. Yeah. 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 Okay. So that's one. This is two. And it has like, I want to hold your hand. You can't do that. Hard Day's Night from film? From a film? You mean like one of the best movies of all time? Yeah. I should have known better. Second very Beatles song of all time. Oh my god, so it just continues like their story as a band on the back. How cool is that? Anyway, so that's the picture for the second one. This is the third one. And as if you couldn't tell, it has the song Help on it. Yeah. Oh. But not only that, guys. If you've been here for a long time, or if you're a Beatles fan, you've watched my song, Be Beatles videos or whatever, you know my favourite song of all time is... If it's going to focus on it, you've got to hide your love away. And this has it on it. I was like, oh my god, I get to hear it on vinyl. Like, ugh. Here I stand, head in hand, turn my face to the wall. If she's gone, I can't go on. Like just downstairs my dad has a whole it's sort of like this my dad has a box of like all the Beatles records in it but like that's too precious and unique so I'm like I'm not taking that from you even though you kind of don't care if I would take it off you but I have this now even though I still want the help album vinyl so I will get it but like that's cute just to have like oh you gotta hide your love away on vinyl <laughs> yes please okay this is the fourth one it looks like that oh opens with yesterday how emotional and then it continues that little story on the back about them being a band I'm loving this. Number five looks like this. Oh, can't get any more iconic than like their outfits and how they look. Paper bag writer. Paper bag writer. Okay, oh, this is such a good face. Number six looks like this. Like, yes, you know? Oh my god. Hello, goodbye. Hey, Jude. Revolution. The last one, number eight, looks like this. I'm trying to get it without like the light on them. Carry that weight, the end in Her Majesty. So how crazy is that? Just like casually, I have like every Beatles song on vinyl now, so I get to hear it. Oh, yes. So with that all being said, they are all the new records I get to add to my collection. I've officially filled up one square of my cube, and I'm onto the second one, which is so exciting because if you've seen my room tour, I made a record stand thing so my record sits on top and my vinyl sits underneath and they made a four squares and one's full and one more to go i mean three more to go 
yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed um, this sixth update to my record collection, which is so fucking amazing. Haha, <laughs> props to me, you know. If you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment below whatever the fuck you want. So make sure you subscribe because I'll see you in my next video. I got vlogs coming, which I'm so excited for. Um, yep, so make sure you could subscribe for that, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Yeah! <laughs>